So I have been wanting to make this video for a while. I'm very excited to be filming with the new phone and with the new light. And in the theme of this video, I have not one but two special guests with me today. And that's it is because we're going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite jobs. And that was working as So here is our first special guest. She is so cute. Um, she's holding like a little cake or whatever, but I just like liked it so much because this was literally my outfit and not the baker hat, but the whole ass apron and blue shirt. We didn't bake cupcakes, but we obviously were baking stuff. This is the other one. This one is so cute and detailed as well. The outfit is pretty much the same. The other reason for this special guest because of the cupcakes is I just want to give a huge big shout out to my friend. Go ahead and check out my friend's Instagram page below. It is her business and it is called Drippin' Cupcakes. All right, everybody, so this was for Anthony's birthday and she did such a detailed job at them. I absolutely love them. She also did my cupcakes for my graduation as well. So I'm gonna leave her Instagram page in the description box down below. I worked there for a year and maybe like like two months so it was a little over the year it was like my first real job like i had when i moved out to san jose it was in the great mall it was a lot of fun i can only like think of like a little bit of bad things but other than that like it was such a such a good job and at the time like i had applied to at least like 10 other jobs dude and i was just like baroque it was like my second semester of college and i was just like trying to work like where i could and i applied to so many malls and so many other stores and i was just like oh my gosh like i didn't get a job and then yeah i just applied and like i had the interview and it was quick and why cinnamon it was just because that was the first job that ended up calling me back when i really really needed a win so i just was like okay like I'm, I'm going like i'm working there um and it ended up being like for sure one of like the best decisions ever the environment of what it's like to work there it had been my first time ever working at a mall i never worked like in a, such a small store before i'd never worked with that many co-workers at once this job is fast paced you guys throughout the weekday it's kind of like slow at the mall on the weekends it was insane especially sundays sundays were extremely crazy people were going in and in kind of like how the whole setup of the store was like there's this huge glass panel that pretty much shows like when you're making or when you're frosting the actual cinnamon rolls um so people are looking at you all the time people are literally just staring people are like filming watching you like rolling and making and frosting them and like people always have to say something when they pass by it's so funny one of the things that i first learned about when i started working there was that auntie Anne's and cinnabon are owned by like the same like company it was cool because we wanted to go Oh, but there we could get something for free so if i was like tired of those cinnamon rolls then it would just be like a little bit of a walk distance to go get the um pretzels from auntie Anne's. you all you do is just like wear your shirt and like go and like ask for whatever you want and like everybody like knows i was just at the mall like a random ass day i wasn't even working but i wanted like a auntie Anne's pretzels so bad that i like had my shirt in my backpack and i just put it on and got one for free that's <laughs> What happens behind the counter pretty much was how everything was made. All of the dough comes in frozen, but we make everything like there. One of the questions I got a lot was what would happen with leftovers. At the time I was like a freshman and like a sophomore in college. So when we had leftovers, like we were allowed to take them home. So I took them back to the dorm and I would give them to all my friends back at San Jose. And that was that. My all time favorite item from there is actually not the cinnamon roll. I know everybody's like, wow, but like you work there and it's not the cinnamon roll. My all time favorite item has to be for sure the cinnamon sticks and if anybody knows what those are it's just like those like sticks made of dough and they have like the cinnamon glaze on them and you eat them with the uh the frosting that we sell there so i don't know for me those were like hella good like i would take a bag of those over a whole cinnamon roll but that's just me by the way my manager was like the best manager i've ever 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 had when i say like i love that job i truly did love that job because it led me to connect and meet with so many people that i like keep so close to my heart to this day they literally made my first job experience in san jose the best like the absolute best i would rate it on the 
job scale definitely a 10 out of 10 even like the little bad things that happened there like don't even like knock the rating of this job off because it was that fun and that good for me probably maybe you're wondering like girl if it was so good like why did you quit and towards the end we did get a new manager he was like training there the environment was like wasn't the same anymore and then also it took me forever to get there because i took public transportation and like it just wasn't worth it especially because it was in milpitas and i actually lived in san jose where the minimum wage was like about to go up anyway so i was just like eh. it is what it is like it was time i guess so There was like interesting stories that happened while working at the Great Mall because you encounter so many people. It was a normal shift and it was already midday and like this random number called the store and was like, oh, like this is, I don't know. I think they were trying to be like the energy or like the, the energy provider, like PG&E. And they were like, we're calling because you haven't paid your PG&E bill. And like, that means like we're going to turn the lights off in your store at 3 p.m. So if you don't pay the money at that hour, your store is going to like have no power. We were all hella scared. Like, oh my gosh, like what do we do? Like, wow. Can we call me? My coworker looked up the number online and it was like a whole scam, dude. It was like this number that called a bunch of other stores and facilities and they would basically tell them like we have like until this time to call um to pay us or if not like the energy is going out and i guess like people posted that on like in the internet it's a scam that's pretty much what it was working at a mall like you are like prone to see like stealing happen there i remember once like we put a tip jar out we had like racked up some money i guess and i guess nobody was looking or it was too close to like the the outside somebody just jacked the entire tip cup so that was hella sad another time some guy literally was so tall and his arms were so long that he literally scooped above like the window and scooped some sweeties and took them home if you don't know what sweeties are there's a, there are those things that they sell at taco bell but the taco bell ones are better because they actually have like the icing inside of them so he jacked the sweeties out of there he was kind of big so i was like i'm good like he could have those but he didn't have them one day this guy he like walked up and he ordered i don't know how much stuff but basically his it was only like a little bit of things and his total was like almost 40 dollars it was like 38 or something like that and he was like wow did i just spend my the amount that my pg and e bill is on some cinnamon rolls and it really was like that people would literally go and spend that much money on cinnamon rolls so it was crazy best day ever best day ever so one day i got out of class super super late i took the light rail to get to the great mall before i had got there i had called my manager and i was like i'm so sorry like i'm running late but i'll be there asap i get off the vca and like i run into like the mall once i had approached the doors of the mall people were like leaving like not just like one or two people but like groups of people were leaving and i was like whoa this is like weird like why are people leaving i walked deeper into the mall and like stores have like the doors down lights off like everything was like turned off and it was like weird and i was like what the heck and i my manager calls me she was like if the security doesn't let you um come to the food court just tell them that you're coming for a shift and i was like oh, okay and the security guard did approach me and he was like where are you going and i was like oh like i'm going to work and then he was all like there's a power outage like so just like you know he said go and then i was like oh my god the power outage i get to the store my manager was just like pretty much just like pack what you can and clean and then she was like and then we'll wait if it goes back on so we can still have the store open time passes by and we just waited for a cool minute after like the cleaning and like the packing had already been done we like sat at the food court and waited because there was literally nothing to do until we found out we could like still work there or not so we were just sitting there waiting pretty much like the security went around and he was like sorry everybody i'm all closed for the day because of the power outage <laughs> <laughs> so i went to work for like three hours or something like that and got paid for it all and i even got a ride home that day so it was a great day i took some leftovers home and that was the best ship that i ever had at the great mall all right guys that's pretty much it thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys for watching